How do? Have you ever thought that cutting your own fret slots just looks too tricky? How do you measure where they're supposed to go? Can you use a normal saw? Do you have to use a big machine? Maybe you even need a super accurate laser cutter. Well, here's my top five tips for how to measure out and cut fret slots so you can stop fretting or start fretting. Stop, but you know what I mean. Tip number one, for standard scale lengths, get a scale length ruler. This one is from Crimson Guitars, but there's loads of different makes out there. They all do the same thing with the standard scale lengths, plus another couple of options usually to get four sides on would make sense. Ridiculously easy to use. Simply line up the nut and mark off the frets as you go. Tip number two is if you don't have a ruler or you're doing a slightly odd length, like I'm building a ukulele at the moment, then you need to measure out those fret slots all on your own. But it's really simple because there's lots of stuff out there that can help. There are mobile apps exclusively for doing such a thing, such as this Set Fret app, or simply go onto your standard web browser, type in Fret Position Calculator, and it'll come up with a load of options, some of them even from Stumax website and things like that. Tip number three is actually to make sure that you've put the radius on the fretboard first. Now, some people do it when it's completely flat and especially when they're using machines, but I like to put the radius in first and you'll find out why in the next tips. Tip number four is all about marking off exactly where those frets are going to need to be cut. Now, the only time I use a pencil during this process is to put on a center line down the center of that fretboard. Center marking rulers are awesome for that, but really you could do a little bit of maths and just find out where the middle is. Once that's drawn on, get rid of the pencil. It's not accurate enough. Use a marking knife. Now, whether you're using a standard ruler, a scale length ruler, or a homemade scale length ruler, doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure that you put your ruler along that center line so that the ends match up with the nut I like to hold it down with some masking tape so that it doesn't move. So to start with, literally just finding the correct place. So I want 22.8 and I'm just going to push the knife on the center line at exactly the right place. Now using a protractor, whether that's a fancy one or one of the little plastic ones you used to have at school, you can put the knife back into that nick put your protractor up to it, making sure that it's running nice and square, and then just really gently score across really gently at first. Then we can go back and score a little bit harder and a little bit harder. And that is marked. And finally, tip number five. So this is talking about the actual cutting of the frets and what tool we can use to do that. No, you can't use a massive saw like that. It's just too fat. Even a nice tenon saw will still have a kerf that's too wide. So what we can do is buy a specific luthier's fret saw, but of course that might cost you a couple of quid. All we actually need is a kerf that is 0.023 inches or 0.54 millimeters kerf. So if you'd search for that, you can find a saw. It doesn't have to be a specific luthier saw, and that will give you the perfect width for fret slots. At a push, you might find a Japanese saw works okay. It's still a little bit on the wide side because the teeth are set, splaying out a little bit, but it does work. You might need to use a bit of glue though. Now, do you remember when I said to cut the radius into the fretboard before cutting the fret slots? This is why. Now, for the sake of understanding, let's over exaggerate things. Let's say our fretboard has this radius on it. If I cut through perfectly straight, you can see how that would be significantly deeper in the middle of the fretboard than it would be at the edges. So to get the correct depth at the edges, the fret slot in the middle is gonna be really, really deep. So as a slot depth marker, I'm going to stick some masking tape at the correct depth. And we can check that by getting a little fret, placing the actual fret underneath and putting that tang in the right place. So you can see there we've got fraction further 
then we need to make sure it definitely seats down we don't want to restrict it going all the way down so then as I cut through with the radius I can follow that depth for the entire curve on that fretboard the radius is going to be matched on the bottom of the slot as well as it is on the top so this is where we find that these knife slots not only mark off exactly where the frets need to be they also give this thin blade a groove to follow meaning as you saw very gently it just follows that knife perfectly and there we can see that that depth has been cut correctly all the way across with no deep spots in the middle so no matter what scale length you want to do from bass guitars through to tiny ukuleles you can now easily cut your own fret slots very accurately and really, really simple. So the next thing would be to put fret dots or inlays, things like that, which is where you want to watch this video here because it's awesome and I'll see you soon. So sharpen your tools, get your measuring sticks out and I'll see you later. God bless.